Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane, this video is part of my favorite series, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite platformers and run-in guns. So personally for me, platformers and run-in guns kind of mix the genre a little bit for me, and they kind of blur the lines a little bit, but these are just my personal favorites. Nothing against anything that's not on this list. It's just some things are more to my taste than others. With that, let's get on with it. So, Mega Man X series was released originally in 1993 on the SNES by Capcom. I really like the Mega Man X series. Not too much of a fan of the original Mega Man. Don't hold that against me. It's just my personal taste. I love the tight controls, I love the wall jumping, I love the upgrades. We have Popful Mail on the Sega CD by Working Designs, released in 1991. This game was pretty much ignored, one, because it was on the Sega CD, and two, it was kind of expensive back in the day, like most Sega CD games. It's Definitely a great game. It's more of a fantasy style platformer with a sword and everything like that. And it just has really good storyline, great voice acting. I enjoy it quite a bit. The game does take a little bit of time to get through, so you want to make sure that you can support a save file on the game. After that, we've got Castlevania Symphony of the Night on PlayStation 1 released by Konami in 1997. I love this style of Castlevania. I love being able to run around and level up and all the RPG elements, swapping out equipment, finding the your favorite thing to do. Me and my friends, we had competitions on like what your signature spell was with, the, with Alucard. And what my friend, uh, Sinchatus, was really good at Tetra Spirit, and I decided that I was going to become very proficient at Soul Steel, and it was my favorite spell. I love that it healed you and all this other stuff, but it was it's such a great game. I know that there's quite a few Castlevania fans out there now that are playing some of the newer platformers and stuff like that, but I absolutely love Symphony of the Night, and it deserves quite a bit of attention. Next up, we have Dynamite Hetty on the Genesis, released by Treasure 1994. It's a really great game. It's a little bit quirky and odd-looking, but it's it's a lot of fun. You run through, you headbutt things, you try to jump over stuff to prevent it from getting hit. It's a treasure game. You can't really go wrong when it comes to treasure. So on with that is Gunstar Heroes, another treasure game released on the Genesis in 1993. There's so many people that comment on Gunstar Heroes with the combination of the weapons and how you can move around and, and how it's just a really great game. And, and it is. Unfortunately, it's become a little bit uh, uh, a costly one to own, but I still think it's worth it. Next up we have Blaster Master on the NES by Sun Corporation 1990 or 1988. This was one of my favorite Nintendo games. I love the multiple aspects of being in the tank and, and jumping around and doing that and then swapping to the overhead view that was kind of reminiscent of Zelda when you were the guy that was got out of the tank and went to fight bosses. I just really spent a lot of time on this game and I enjoyed it quite a bit. Next up is the Kirby series and I know I'm kind of cheating by, again, adding another whole series to it, but it was re originally released by Nintendo in 1993. I love Kirby. I have a five-year-old at home. She loves Kirby. She sits down in front of my big CRT and plays the original Kirby game on the NES, and she uses the NES Advantage because her hands are a little bit small to actually hold a controller, but I love it, I love playing it, it's a really good 
game, there's a little bit of strategy to it if you want to view it that way where you can decide which powers you're going to retain and keep and try to keep as long as you can, or if you're going to trade up for a different power or anything like that. It's, it's really adaptive and I, I really do like that about this game. Well, that is it for this episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking one of the links below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.